Hi, I'm Wally Brewster, the United States Ambassador to the Dominican Republic, and I'm joined today by my husband, Bob Sadawake. June is LGBT Pride Month around the world, and we are proud to celebrate with the millions of LGBT individuals, along with democratic governments and citizens of many cities and countries throughout the world, celebrating life, diversity, inclusion, compassion, and equality. A few days ago, in recognition of Pride Month, President Barack Obama reiterated the values and policies of the United States on LGBT equality. President Obama said, our commitment to advancing equality for the LGBT community extends far beyond our borders. In many places around the globe, LGBT people face persecution, arrest, or even state-sponsored execution. This is unacceptable. The United States calls on every nation to join us in defending the universal human rights of our LGBT brothers and sisters. As the representative of President Obama and the American people in the Dominican Republic, I respectfully echo these words of support. The ambassador and I just celebrated the completion of six months in the Dominican Republic in our new roles having the high honor of representing President Barack Obama and the citizens of the United States. We are a proud couple that has committed over 25 wonderful years of our life together, committed to doing our part to make this world a better place for all people. We look forward to the continued opportunities to work with the citizens and government of the Dominican Republic to promote culture and democracy through inclusion and equality. Has it always been easy? No. But every day has been a blessing. We want to thank the warm and kind people of the Dominican Republic for embracing us at every turn and welcoming us into your country. Of course, there were those that were not so kind prior to our arrival and after we landed. There will always be opposing views regarding government policies, but to those individuals who continue to discriminate against people because of who they are as human beings, I have to ask, isn't it time to stop hating? Isn't it time to stop telling young men and women that they are not worthy because of the color of their skin, their socioeconomic status, their gender identity, and their sexual orientation? Hate and prejudice continues to encourage and promote bullying. This has led to an overwhelming number of suicides of our young people and senseless murders that some people justify with hate. People cautioned us prior to arriving that the Dominican Republic would not welcome us and might even make our lives uncomfortable, with the exception of a few people who promote prejudice and hate, our experience has been just the opposite. We have been very blessed, and Dominicans throughout the country have embraced us in all sectors of society. When Pope Francis addressed the issue of gay people in July of 2013, his response was, who am I to judge? Dr. Martin Luther King, during his fight for freedom and equality said, Love is the only force capable of transforming an enemy into a friend. We must embrace and love our enemies if we're going to forward the progress of equality in the world. Do not let words of hate place barriers in front of progress for equality. They will always be there, but we must always find a path around them. On December 10, 1948, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was adopted by the UN General Assembly by a vote of 48 in favor and zero opposed, including the governments of the Dominican Republic and the United States. It proclaims a powerful idea. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. These rights are the foundation of democracy throughout the world. Early in President Obama's term in office, he said, the strongest democracies flourish from frequent and lively debate but they endure when people of every background and belief find a way to set aside smaller differences in service of a greater purpose. Throughout the Americas, Europe, Asia, and Africa, there are many cities and countries with organized pride celebrations. We want to tell all LGBT individuals and their families around the world, we are celebrating with you. We encourage you to include your friends, include your family members, and celebrate the diversity of who we are as a people. Be proud of who you are 
and know you need no one's acceptance for who you are and who you love. Remember, all people have the right to equal treatment under the law. Be kind to your enemies, and through your kindness and acceptance of them, hope will prevail, and one day inequality will not be a focus of the human race, because inequality will be a subject of the past. In celebration of the diversity that strengthens the bonds between our two countries, Bob and I are focused on the continued relationship and future opportunities between our nations and commit to all of you that we will place every effort possible to serve our cooperative bilateral interest with dignity and respect during our time with you. We both look forward to meeting those of you we have not had the chance to meet. And we look forward to growing the friendships with those that we have had the chance to have a wonderful opportunity of meeting. Thank you for your generous spirit. And to those of you celebrating this month, Orgullo. Orgullo.